All right, hello, hello everyone. I am gonna do another pick a deck, pick a pile. Um, I was also with the toys, the mini toy brand. So we're gonna open this up. I'm gonna set them around, check the comments. That's where I like to timestamp. Um, I'll tell you the different decks, just take a look. And then I'm gonna open these up. I have no clue and as I'm guided, I will add the toy. So maybe the toy, uh, these mini brands. I got this fun idea from, uh, a reader Chloe Taylor's channel so I like to um, since I'm doing this and I, I first saw that there I wanted to uh, give props to who gave me this idea but my kids love these things and I'm gonna give them to them afterwards sorry this is taking a little longer so like I said you can look in the comments um, if you want to just jump to a pile it would already be revealed I'll put what toy is there and the different things if you don't want to wait for this part but some people like to I mean, I, it's a surprise for me too. I'm just getting the paper off and I'm, you know, filling the the empty sounds <laughs> with me communicating. Okay, so I'm gonna finish opening this. Take a couple deep breaths and look at the different piles. We have uh, Midnight Magic with the Mushroom Tarot by Sarah Richards, as well as the Oracle of Mushrooms. Um, I believe that's from Nicola McIntosh uh, on the on the left side. And then we also have Oracle of the Roses by Sherilyn Darcy. Um, the Sacred Spirit reading cards by Anna Stark in the center. And the Illumitero in the center with Kalina Lux. Now there's five different things for this, okay? So keep that in mind. And then on the right-hand side is the Dragon Tarot by Sean McKenzie. Um, I'll spotlight the artist and that's, I'm just remembering it off my head, right? Okay, and then also the Sacred Traveler by Denise Lynn, as well as I brought in for this one, the Mystical Journey Oracle with Tennessee Charpentier. So the new ones in this um, are the Mushrooms and uh, the Roses and the Mystical Journey. I have been pulling the Sacred Spirit and the, the other Traveler and the other one. Sorry, this is taking me a while to open it. So that's why you can jump forward if you want. I have a little knife here. I know I should just like take the packaging off first, right? Probably <laughs> to save on time, but so, cause I like this. It's fun for me to do it this way guys as well. Okay, I finally got it. Let's go. There's two, I wonder why this one is pink and yellow. Like maybe that's how they always are. Yeah, they are, okay. And there is a little pull tab you can pull to pull it off. Let's see. Oh, that one was easy. Oh, this is the one, once again, to build the shelf or build whatever it is. So they all start with that. Oh, it's a shopping cart. This one's the shopping cart. Okay. So I won't be putting it together, but look at the pink and blues with the little shopping cart. So I'm um, building the little shopping cart. There's the instructions to carry your groceries. So this one about grocery shopping, I'm going to put it over here because the pink and blues. Oh, little toy mini brands. So you have a little cart to hold all your toys in. <laughs> all your fun toys. Okay, so that's more of the center. Um, so there is five different ones. So I will interlink because let's see how many decks we have out. One, two. I think with the Sacred Spirit reading. So maybe both of those will be that. Um, I know five is a lot, but I'm just going to do it. Okay, here's our next one. Okay, whoa, some metal toy. It's a spider, a metal tarantula spider, spider strike. Okay, that one looks kind of cool. All right, I'm going to put that by the Midnight Magic one. So the spider, metal a spider. <laughs> by the, so the mushrooms and the spider. Okay, and then let's see what's next. Oh... It is a fact ball game. It's a tossing ball game. Game time. Okay, game time. Having fun. Let's um I'm gonna put that by the roses. Game time with the roses. Okay, so we only have two more. So remember the shopping cart's also gonna go with the sacred spirit animal. Sorry, I'm just in this beginning part. I had the coolest thing, guys. So I had the coolest thing when I was doing the other one. The pile three was um, was so crazy when I was time stamping it. So 
and that was the Sacred Traveler. And I got so excited about, oh my gosh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle is what's next. Oh my gosh, the turtle is what's next. Oh my gosh, so I just have to say, my daughter's gonna love this one. <laughs> she is literally wearing like the new, the turtle. So, hmm, let's see. Which one do I wanna put this one on? The turtle. So I think of Taurus and Sagittarius. So I will also throw out different zodiac signs. Um, over here, I think of the, I, there was a lot of the Virgo and Cancer sign today. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn as well. I saw 117. So there's lots of different. I'm just going to start saying what I saw. There was a lot of Capricorn. There's also Aries energy, but Taurus and Sagittarius as well. Um, oh my gosh, the Ninja Turtle. So I'm excited. I think I want to put it on the dragons actually and the Sacred Tarot. So, or the Sacred Traveler, Denise Lynn and Sean McKenzie's. Sorry, those two different ones are going to connect here with, if you're drawn into this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Okay, which one is it with the blue, guys? I don't know this too well. Does it say his name on it? It's the blue one. Leonardo! It's Leonardo. Sorry, I'm like yelling. <laughs> it's Leonardo. Maybe even Leo. I don't know. Leo. Okay. I actually don't even want to tell you guys some of the stuff that was coming through. So that's why we're playing with the games, okay? If it goes there with some of these messages, then it goes there, though. So what's up next? We got one final one. And this is the connects again. But this connects is a go-kart. Looks like a go-kart. It's a ride. Magnetics. 206, 712. It says ages 7 to 12. There's 12. Okay, I saw 12, 12, 206, 712. So maybe even the Cancer sign, um, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgos, Pisces, and Sagittarius connects. Look, he's like building it. He even has like the little kid building it on there. This is a building, but it's, wow. Capricorn too. So building stuff. I'm going to put this by the mystical journey because it's a little car even, you know what I mean? Like taking a trip. So maybe something like that. All right. So here we go. Those are our fun toys. That was fun. I like this one. I hope you are enjoying this. I don't know. I bought a few of these because I thought I like to make it fun. Um, you know, because we're maybe guided by things by, you know, our memorabilia or nostalgia or our own children, if you're a parent or grandparent or whatever, you know, you know, and if you're not, then, you know, it's, then I don't know. These are fun. Everybody loves, I'm all, who doesn't love toys? So, um, let's see. So I'm going to, so like I said, we're going to go one through five and I'm going to move these out five, four, three, two, one. So our first one, I will say will be the midnight magic with the spider. Okay. With the Sarah Richards and Nicola, um, you guys, I really don't even want to tell you the name game oh my goodness but off of American Horror Story Jessica Lang Lana <laughs> um you know what I mean Sarah Sarah Bobera but there was Lana and Jessica Lang um what's her oh yeah yeah that's who plays Lana something anyways Madison I don't know why I'm telling all you these gosh okay so let's go back that's for the first one okay so maybe all there's special things with the time stamping so number one let's start with the roast no one number five nine minutes in number five what why am i telling you that see i'm off <laughs> we're gonna so i'm i'm moving these out of the way so oracle roses is number five. Oh my goodness guys i can't believe that all right, and then the Illuma Tarot with the Sacred Spirit reading cards is number four. And the shopping cart. So putting the shopping cart together, going shopping. Okay, number three is the Tennessee Charpentier with the connects with the little car. Okay, the Mystical Journey Oracle. It had 712 on it, 1212, 206. Um... So that's five, four, three. So number two is going to be the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So there's still like Taurus and Sagittarius, okay? Maybe Leo, I don't know. Some fun stuff with this, okay? With the dragons and the sacred traveler. So the blue 
and the um yeah the blue is important we got the green and then the purple so for colors that's gonna be number two number two and number one is gonna be the midnight magic and i'm gonna start that now and see what time it is on the clock. 10.17. Well, hello. Libras possibly cho choosing number one. Um, I also saw 117, so Capricorn as well. So if you chose the spider, and we're starting right here, if you just jumped here through the timestamps, um, I understand because <laughs> that was a little, little chaotic. This is only my second video of trying this out. So we're going to see what the tarot says. The mushrooms are spotlighted, so you're drawn into the little spiders and mushrooms. So let's put this little spider by the dragon. Okay, midnight magic. I don't know why I brought this out so we can see. Sometimes I like sharing things. Sarah Richards. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to just split the deck open and see. Wow, wish fulfillment. Nine of cups. So getting water club mushrooms. Wow, those are interesting. So filling wish fulfilled. Wishes fulfilled regarding these. Nice, this is good. Or seeking this, that's what I'm, and then I'm gonna look under the deck. The moon, oh, when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, like a big pizza pie. The weird thing, so I'm seeing Eastern jack-o'-lantern here. So even though this is the moon card, which could represent the Cancer energy or Pisces, um, I also see that the full moon is gonna be, um, there is a lot of love right there. Though getting your wishes fulfilled maybe at the full moon, these emotions. <gasps> Easter, no, Easter eggs, this is Eastern, jack-o'-lantern, you know what I mean? So I feel like there's even some scorpionic, um, because I don't know why I'm here, because I'm feeling like the Halloween and the mushrooms or something. Let me see, 15, 16, 17, 18, 9, 9, and the Virgo. So Pisces, Virgo, Cancers, whatever, but these are the about these emotions and getting what you're hoping for, what you're wishing for. Maybe that was exactly what you were hoping for. <laughs> okay, um, now I'm going to split the mushrooms open. Restore, morale, even restoring. These are very good for you mushrooms. Um, they are hollow though. So making sure that you're... Um, okay, the food was spotlighted a bit. I know this is going to be weird, uh, but there was pepper... Got to add, there's lemons, there's cucumbers, tomatoes, and asparagus. Maybe you're you're incorporating mushrooms into your diet and you love mushrooms, even they're good for you too. Vitamin D, what, other things like this, but making sure that you're restoring yourself. Okay, let's see, 12, 15, 12, 9. Wow, so there could be some Pisces, Gemini, Aries, um, Sagittarius as well. Okay, so I'm saying that there. And then I'm going to flip them out, okay, and see what else. These are great. The sh time to shine, ghost mushroom. The 17, okay, 17 seconds. Um, You guys like the, the band The Cure? The Forest. So there was so much about going into the forest, okay, Um, in the music. Uh, <laughs> there was some other stuff, though, okay, so maybe it's not going on with this part. <laughs> but shining, there's Libra Aries, maybe even Scorpionic. But there's some Leo energy, making sure it's time. And even seeing this um, neon shine, glow in the dark stuff. S spotlighted, look, it, it kind of looks glow in the dark. 1217. Sagittarius, two, three, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, the three, eight. Huh. Okay, fascinating. Okay, I'm gonna shuffle them out for who we're drawn in here. I'm gonna get you a couple mushrooms. I will read a little bit out of the book. Just two mushrooms. I, I'm gonna keep this quick. Okay, this is about stagnation. Um, and it fell on the midnight magic. So maybe it literally is you're watching this at 12, or there's something about midnight, like because it fell over here by um maybe the Illumitera one might be another one you might want to watch hopefully I can remember and do them in the correct order <laughs> so um this is about stagnation three four 
um, it's a seven, so it's feeling like a need to um, pause even, but you might be holding yourself back from something. I mean, this is the bleeding tooth mushroom. Okay, I don't know if you can still see it if I leave it right there. So maybe, and then I'm gonna, all right, I see the shiitake and nourishing. Okay, maybe maybe this is specific regarding even, you know, take it how it resonates, but regarding even your taking care of your teeth and things like this, your physical body. Um, um, Cause there's about nourishing, shiitake and the mushrooms even, and nourishing even, things like that. Avoidance, <laughs> the moon. Okay, all right, so let's get one more mushroom. And for the most part, I, I, if I need the book, that's what I'll do. If I feel guided to it. Yes, one more. Okay, wow. So that scorpionic energy is coming through again. Death cap. Um, an ending. Someone's hoping for an ending. <laughs> but paying attention to... Okay, bluegill. is It's a rarity. Wow. I look at that. As I looked under the deck, it actually flows. So 17 was a shine card, right? And look how much that one stands out from the whole deck even. I just, so remember 17, then 19, 18. So I have 7, 17, 7, 18, 7, 19. Also, these could be Capricorn, 1, 9, but there's a 10, a 9, 10, maybe Virgo, but there's the death cap, the death cap is an ending. So I was just thinking how we take pictures and stuff of all of these things, um, of everything, right? And it is because there's a sense that um, perfectionism is an illusion that doesn't last. So even with flowers and nature, it you know, like there's a perfect timing of the sunset, um, of the flower, of, you know, because it all transforms and it changes. So, 719, 710, wow. The nine. Okay, I'm going to put that rarity back and see. No, I am also going to get some, some tarot with these. So, I'm saying this is getting your wishes fulfilled, wanting something to transform. And maybe you're having issues with... with like literally with your teeth and and you need you want to go you got to go to the dentist or something like that um or you want this this stagnation to end you want movement okay let's see what else do we have for those who were drawn to pile number one and um the mushrooms and the spider so or maybe you aren't like this is showing more there's gemini scorpionic as well right okay okay well three of wands this, this is about waiting and being patient even waiting for this right timing seven three three four oh my gosh this is weird um maybe there is like your there's dental work or something three three four three seven seven three waiting patiently it's not the right timing something maybe you gotta wait for an appointment or something this is waiting for a different time. There's apple rust. Okay, this reminds me the rust. Oh my goodness. Um, shaking the rust off. So there was the name game, right? And so there's something rusty even. Um, the Empress 3-3. Three, three. Oh my, but the Empress is in reverse here. Hen of the Woods. So for some of you, I'm getting there's like maybe um the hair color is like red or being called rust or it's rustin. Uh, the Empress in reverse. Oh my gosh, I didn't want to tell you about that. So this is the wife or the mother, right? Energy. She's feeling like she's unable to, you know, be creative. Um when the empress she's not holding she's not being motherly she's not being wifely like she's not taking care of um the kingdom with the emperor she's not doing her job so there's something you know what i mean so there is mother issues or wife that's upside down in this picture okay spider ace of cups there's something new there's new love coming 
And this is the death cap and ending. Wow. 119 Capricorn. I really didn't want to talk about some of this stuff. Did I? That's, uh, okay. The Hermit, oh my gosh, and the Queen of Cups. So, this is that Virgo energy as well as, you know, the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpionic, Feminine, being loving and compassionate, um, trying to gain enlightenment, maybe even just wanting to stay at home. Like, this is maybe the whole thing of the pause, the stagnation. Waiting patiently to gain the information. There's stuff to be done to gain this enlightenment. Like, there's dark stuff. I'm, I mean, it's in the dark. The mushrooms grow in the dark. Understand that. Be like the mushroom and grow in the dark. Page of Pentacles. So it's just, this is taking very long time. Hedgehog, mushroom. There's a lot of Taurus energy. This could even be, so this Empress energy sometimes is Taurus or Libra energy. Um, but the moon was there. Someone was getting their wishes fulfilled regarding something. So remember? But just, this is about being patient Maybe they are a child, like someone needs to be more patient with a child. So they could be the, the Virgo energy as well. And the earth energy, the Capricorn was spotlighted. Um, okay, I saw, okay, I saw the craziest thing with like a journey. Okay, I had this, <laughs> I, like, so there was a lot of talk of the third eye and things like this and the journey, especially in the other video, okay? And um, I also saw like, I saw like the hermit to me, sometimes the card is like carrying also like the 10 of wands. The, so there's Virgo or cancer energy. It's, it's cancer Virgo specific actually. There is a little scorpionic, but yeah, about being patient and waiting. Um, wow, what else is with this, the purple? The artist conch. Mycena, Nargan, Nargan's bonnet. I'm just looking at these, but, um, but when, during this time, even this alone time, and then like trusting that there are other, it was like on this travel, other, your spirit guides, ancestors, animals, whatever it is you're drawn to, the fairies and all of that, like they come and they take like, so this is also like an energetic call for help in a sense does that make sense where others will then be guided to help come in and help relieve some of the burden blackening wax cap because someone is is maybe they they need help you know it's almost like your child needing help carrying something and you're gonna go carry something and help take some of the weight off the burden um and also seeing this energetically happen through others or through spirit guide, spirit team, even with the hermit. Like when you do this alone time, that's when you think you're alone, but that's when you, you can sense all the other guidance, I think, a lot. And really intuitive. Okay? So being patient, especially with a child, laying down these heavy burdens, helping. You know, maybe this empress, maybe even a mother... Okay, a wife, whomever this empress is, that this is just that feminine energy. It could be your mother. It could be a wife, a spouse. Um, they're, you know what I mean? Like, they stopped working. Maybe they stopped doing the work. There was someone really tempted, possibly. Maybe things are healed. Like, you're, they're healing. The snow fungus. So, something about the snow. This is interesting. I've not seen this card underneath there. This is being done resting and it's time to move. Whoa, towards Ten of Pentacles. 410. Ace of Cups, something new. So, the burden's over. Okay, so intuitively sometimes, okay, because... So Scorpionic energy, right? This is Scorpionic. So I like to also share... Uh, my Mercury is in Scorpio at zero degrees. And so that's why 
also with the death cap being there and the ace of cups is a 119 um interesting or one nine or the 19th but so libra energy came in the beginning and this is um definitely someone who i had already who has passed like i i sense that but if if this is someone in your life that is already passed it's also saying like the burden is off and it is time for new love you know the metal maybe there's heavy metal like you like that could be heavy metal metal machines interesting and i'm seeing it is being done with healing and resting and maybe even the shift right towards and there's legacy whoa whoa taurus energy too ten of pentacles the hierophant ten five one oh five and Capricorn energy, turkey tail. The Ten of Pentacles is the branched Calbia. So I wonder why this mushroom is, is like that. Hmm. And there's the new love, something you love. Um. So this this ending is about um finding something you love. It's transforming into love and stability. Like being done healing and then being able to focus on real world things even, you know. This is property, legacy, leaving a legacy, a will, you know, something. Regardless of your age, what are you going to leave this world with, you know. Like for your loved ones. And this is being able to follow guidance, um, give good guidance, even understanding a spiritual like being able i really like this because it's being able to to balance the the real world and the spiritual realm this is someone you could look up to king of wands is in reverse right here though wow this is an interesting dynamic now so earth energy it could also it, it's an earth energy king of wands is in reverse they're okay so this this person um might actually be holding on to something holding money being greedy there's greed with this um so if you're dealing with aries leo sagittarius um, they might be kind of rude or angry they're looking at all their options of what to do they're in, in a bit of an illusion there's the black trumpet the king oyster hmm hmm there's a bunch of bugs. Yeah, these aren't good. Like, these aren't good mushrooms. There's a snake there. There's a knife. Huh. Okay. King of swords in reverse. They're very rude and cutting. Whoa, this one is flipped out, okay? As I was looking through. The star, okay. In particular, wow. And the king of swords has a dragonfly, but I'm, him in reverse... So it could be regarding Aquarius energies because it's the star. This golden reishi mushroom is about hope, healing, spirit medicine even. New beginnings. So why is King of Swords in reverse? So this King of Swords is uh, the magician. A Gemini. Wow. Oh my gosh. Queen of Wands in reverse too. Mm, the emperor okay but queen of pentacles is upright with this so i all right interesting whoa this one is flipped out too the death card i must have missed these up somehow the death cards in reverse so things have not with a car with a, a cancer sign things have not transformed um wasn't the car Knight of Pentacles, so earth sign. It wasn't, or yeah, so Taurus. It wasn't the car. King of Pentacles. It wasn't the earth sign. They're upright. They're unblocked. They're not defensive. So this Capricorn, Taurus, masculine, uh, Virgo, because we've got Hermit there too. 
they're not someone they they're unblocked they're um they're not defending their home even though there's patience and compassion there and understanding okay wow the world is in reverse with queen of swords lion's mane um so things are not over things are not completed all the way wow i totally messed these up like it's it's um this is a mess life's a mess there we go this is even libra energy right there old man of the wood isn't that interesting but we got the queen there's a little leo with this because you got the lion's mane this is about staying calm and um going out into the forest into the woods even right and getting clarity trying to be just and balancing things even detaching a little bit of emotion from it. There's a neutralness to this. These are really interesting, beautiful cards. I've only used them a few times. So, okay, because I have so many other videos, hopefully that has given you some clarification, some understanding. I'm not going to read out of the book for those because I think it's exactly what it is. There's a stagnation, right, with something here. But it's because they're trying to get balanced and get some understanding before they take action they're trying to be patient there's intuitive stuff to be done um helping others with their burdens uh, um some of you might help people now i didn't pull the devil energy because i some of you might help people overcome like addiction or things like this um or uh work with um mental issue type counselor things or even helping something like that transforming or grief counselor even something okay that's just what i'm seeing okay wow what are we on time 3201 okay 3201 so pile one that was fascinating thank you all so much if you're gonna stick around to pile two wonderful if not we will see you later in another video thank you all so much now moving on to at 32 17 okay i gotta remember which was number two pa teenage mutant ninja turtles all right, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles at 32.27. Here we go. So if you were drawn into the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Leonardo, Leo, the blue, the dragons, and then the Sacred Traveler, all right, this is for you. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to set these here. I'm going to split the deck, see what we got under here. All right, feeling like someone is kind of being very unapologetic, um... Maybe dealing with a water sign, maybe, but someone being uh, apathetic, like this is even maybe a victim or they're, I don't know. There's no apology. Like they're stand. this is standing in ego, even in this water energy. Okay. Crossing this bridge. Oh, so I don't read these in reverse, but I'm seeing that that's what we're going to do with this. It's time for healing. Connecting, mending, and releasing. Crossing a bridge. Overcoming the, the bridge under over troubled water. Crossing bridges. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Sorry, I'm going to... Turtles in the Half Shell. So, first things first. Let's get a couple for who are drawn to this. We'll see if I gui feel guided to uh, read the book. This one is like just popping out. The Vasta or Vast Vistas expand your horizon out of the box. Like, out of the box. All right, I'm going to move the Dragon Tower over here. We're just going to get two or three and then expand your horizons. Like, I like this thinking outside of the box. Maybe there's some hermit mode with that or even Aquarius, Aries. Like, there's a sense of going and look. The V's. Vic, <laughs> Vasta, Vi Vast Vista, I can't even say it, joy and delight, open your heart to joy, okay, look, I love these with the fairies, I, um, I feel like definitely I'm gonna end up using the fairy cards with this particular deck at another time, because there's a lot of fairy magic, open your heart to joy, teenage mutant ninja turtles, let's see, I am not even paying attention to the camera, so let's get one more look under there. And there is take a risk, adventure forward, a great adventure. 
So this is really beckoning you. I mean, it is the sacred traveler. So this is about expanding your horizons, traveling, um, seeing all the, the beautiful things that this world has to offer, finding the beauty in nature and around and other cultures. There's definitely some Sagittarius, maybe some Libra energy, um, Gemini, maybe Taurus. Clear the air. Oh, so there is something, right? Like, hmm. Well, that's what it said in the tarot. So we'll get more into that, though. Clear the air, distant thunder. Oh, wow, you're getting how many? Clear the air. So this toy, this play. Clear the air. Passion and pleasure save your life. Look, play. Savor. I said save your life. Hmm. By playing. The gypsies even look. <laughs> oh, maybe you guys have one. Play even. I don't know I'm saying that. Savor your life. Enjoy. They're dancing around the fire, singing, camping, whatever. The big full moon. There's music. They're playing music. Expand your horizons even. Reaching your destination. Your light is shining brightly. So getting there to this wonderland even, this little castle, this bubble, and the fairy. And then the final one is support is all around you. There's fellow travelers. Wow. Oh, my gosh. So I love this so much, guys. The peacock standing out. Um, there's, there's royalty with this, right? But there's humility, right? The oranges, the sweetness, the rainbow, like the pot of gold looking out. Look, oh, the white peacock. So the female and the male, he's watching over her as she's drinking at the water's edge. And I see the one stick. So the weirdest thing I was kind of mentioning in the first one about a, like a heavy burden and I was seeing like, okay, the weird, okay, this is what I saw with this purple. <laughs> well, before I came to do these, there's fellow travelers. Anyways, so I saw like this Virgo energy, you know, the hermit card or something like that. Let me put that back up there. And, um, having like the 10 of wands, so a heavy burden carrying all these sticks on their back and then the fellow travelers along the way coming in and uh, whether they they be uh you know joy and delight like you know fairies the jack-in-the-box is just jumping out it's so crazy and seeing like the boat and someone else is looking oh no there's a storm Distant thunder. What else was that? Oh, there's another one. A breakthrough is at hand. I didn't even see that one. That was hiding. Wow. So you got seven. That final one is there's a breakthrough. Even if you've been like feeling like you're stuck or breaking through some wall or um, a karmic thing even. Clear the air. There's going to be a breakthrough. Um, the mountain and the storm. Wow. Wow. You can feel it with this one. It's like sensing in the air, in the energy, the tension or something, or that the storm is coming, you know, and knowing when to get in. Supports all around you. Anyways, what I was saying is as the as you're on your journey, maybe even feeling like there's some type of a heavy burden. There's there's support all around you. Watching, guiding fellow travelers even that come and actually take some of the load with you like does that make sense like they take some of the sticks some of the heavy burden the action so that you you all end up with just the one passion the one wand um passion and pleasure you know the one wand giving you that that drive to that action that mars energy to keep the stamina to keep moving forward Wow, these are great. I like this. Okay, underneath there, the final one is the gates of triumph. Success expands in your life. Walking through the gates of triumph. Okay, this is fascinating. Very, very fascinating. Now, I am going to also get some of the dragon tarot. What are we going to... I need to see what the time is. It's hard for me to pay attention to the time. 39.49. Okay, wow, the fool. Oh, my gosh. So... 
whether there is Aries energy watching or, or um, what else do I see? I see there's Libra, Cancer sign possibly, um, a lot of, and Aquarius. Um, there is some Earth energy, maybe Virgo, Taurus. That's kind of what I see it as, right? Sagittarius, but this is a new beginning in something. Expand your horizons. It's like the white rose. Oh, I also saw like the yellow roses. Maybe the roses one will be also something you might want to watch. Which one is, does this one come up? Not quite next. Okay, it's like pile number four, I think. Two, four. Anyways, so this new beginning, I'm looking under there. Whoa, someone's been waiting patiently for the right timing. For Like these are the ships coming in. Joy and light, someone's coming in with these, these wands. But there's and like someone is even going and looking back at something they've done in the future or excuse me in the past um which is weird because it would seem like maybe something you wanted to do in in a different time when you were younger or something there's like with with there's the golden and the white are your color like this passion even the orange okay look oh ace of cups though why is it in reverse so this isn't about feeling love. There's some, it's about, so justice is upright. So where, it, where maybe there was a sense of not feeling love. Um, that's really interesting because the tower's in reverse too. The Libra energy is trying to stay balanced and be fair and detach emotionally. And maybe that's why you're not, there's not a sense of love with this because there's, those that's really interesting because normally you know look at the colors they they go so well together it all goes so well together 11 111 maybe even there's capricorn energy but there's detaching emotionally to make a decision um i feel like there is a sense of not wanting everything to crumble and start at the beginning the tower sometimes means that Sensing things being constricted or feeling uh, confined. And look, maybe there was a crossroads and action has been taken before a tower happened. To, um, it's like coming, it's laying down the defenses because it was like at this part, part like someone was about to, it was a heavy burden they were going to break, right? And so um, needing to feel very protected but this is finally being able to lay down those wands and actually just talk and communicate. Look at all the wands and they're going down. Isn't that weird? But this is taking action to, to communicate, writing it, flying to you, coming to your home, communicating, maybe even about not being able to create. Maybe they're communicating about a Gemini to you. Um, maybe someone had some ill manifestation, some bad intentions, like they weren't moving on, like they're, they had something, they were holding a grudge and their emotions were coming forth. Someone saw it, a Pisces, a Cancer even, feeling stuck. Maybe they weren't able to go, to grow, to manifest what they were hoping for. They're stuck in their head about something. Yeah, about the wands, like someone else... Laying down the wands, not doing the work. Someone's saying, like, yeah, the sun, even, and getting clarity on that. So maybe some of you, it's a sun or it's Leo, but regardless, it's someone finally feeling happiness and joy, feeling the sun, feeling balanced, Sagittarius energy, this fire, a lot of fire, feeling like moderate. Look, the little turtles there, too. Queen of Cups, everyone upright, being like, Feeling in their power, knowing how to have moderation, balancing the material, the spiritual food intake, spending money, going with the flow of life. This flow of life. Yeah. Wow. Even in the home, being a mothering, understanding, compassionate. Um regarding even like you got the home running around well the devil's underneath there though so this could just be this cancer capricorn energy or something like this but or scorpio pisces whatever the devil 
Oh, someone feels <gasps> underneath the devil is the lovers. So there is like an attraction, addiction. Someone feels maybe a little trapped, obsessed with a lover. So you, these are the energies of, of Capricorn and Gemini. Maybe juggling finances on what to do. Feeling like something is heartbreaking. That someone, it's like that, oh my gosh, it's like heartbroken that someone doesn't, it's like that they don't care, that it doesn't bother them, there's no stress. Like, it's almost seeing why they act as though they don't even care. Huh. Go ahead. Make my day. All right, whatever that was about. Okay, pile number two. That was interesting. Very interesting. So underneath, like I said, there seem to be juggling. Um, two, two, even. No way. The pile number two is getting two, two, two. So, because underneath, I split it. We got two of cups, a soulmate, trying to balance, juggle, even the material stuff. Uh, someone's taken off, though, um, and not willing to work with others and collaborate. Maybe a Virgo. So they're not getting their wishes fulfilled. They don't want to do that, or they're not... Yeah, they don't have the car or the movement. Like, they don't want to travel to come do this work. Um, and someone's trying to have strength even to, like, say that. Like, no, or something. But it's, they're really slow. Like, it's taking a long time. There's earth energy. Just being patient with it. For them to just give you an answer. <laughs> They're still, like, looking at their finances or juggling whether or not they want to do it. Like, so that's the thing. There's an idea. Do they they want to go? Because maybe it costs money to go to this thing, you know? Go out and do this stuff. Is there enough? You know? Okay. That's what I got for you and your fellow travelers. Thank you, pile number two. What do we have on time? 4710. 4710. Clean it up, pile two. Okay. Pile two. Now we go to pile three. Pile three. Okay, 4727. 4727 and pile number three with the mystical journey and the connects with the little car, putting together your little race car. We got the 12, 7, 7, 12, 206, uh, the 1212 even. So. Whatever, I'm just telling you what's on the box and this is like building your little, your little, so that's like some Lego building things, but then it's like a car. So, this is about the mystical journey, Oracle, and Brit maybe you're going to go to Tennessee, I don't know. I just like to say that this is the author, um, artist. Well, it's kind of splitting right there, so I'm going to see, wow, trusting. Oh, this also talks about the mask, 34. Um... And seeing through people's. And um, there's a warning with this card, actually, that someone might be wearing a mask and tr having a hard time trusting. What do we got under there? Resilience 3034. So, the number threes, let's see. Maybe there's Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, the 30th. Being resilient, that I feel like there might be Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Libra energy. Maybe Leo as well. That's just what I saw under there. That okay. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put this away. But if I feel guided and underneath there, taking your power back. Thirty five. Wow. Wow. The eight. So we go seven eight. So there's even possibly Pisces, Cancer, Leo, Gemini, Scorpionic. Okay. And that trusting. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle a few cards out. These ones are kind of deep, and I don't have any other tarot to go with it, so I probably will actually be reading uh, the book with this one. These ones are beautiful cards. Like, look how pretty the iridescence and the reflection. All right, the little car. So you got this mystical journey, connecting things embracing your true path what do we have for those who are guided to this little car and the mystical journey maybe even the colors the colors are beautiful right like uh, these are some of my favorite it reminds me of like peacock um 
the teal color and the deep purple. Wow, the swans, the compassion. Wow, 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 wow. 17, what time is it again? 50.05, five, five, guys, the one seven. Okay, you see, I'm, I'm gonna go to Aries Libra with this just because I'm seeing it as understanding that duality, regardless of your sign, go to the opposite, right? The, the self, number one, and then the partnership, number seven, so then opposition even, but they come together and in that scorpionic, um, you know what I mean. <laughs> but there's compassion with this as well, um, and love. Because, okay, oh my goodness. So Scorpio energy too, but so this is that sex, death, birth, um, creation even, right? And seventh house is commitment, um, partnership, working together, right? And then first house is how you see yourself even, like, um, and how you're physically seen by others, right? So with this swan and this compassion, um, now this can, you can be any sign, right? So, wow, we'll see. So your first card is compassion. I actually, this is a new deck too, and I have not seen this one, guys. So I am very thrilled and excited. So in eighth house, this is where even creation happens, you know, with sex. This is where, I, yeah, you know, and the, <laughs> I mean, maybe fifth house a little bit too with romance, but that's more, but there's where this is commitment to me and having a family, um, there isn't right now, possibly, maybe there isn't children right now for some of you. Look how pretty that is. That card is so interesting. I want to hold it up and see if you could. There's a little shadow, isn't there? Hmm. The connects. K next. K next. <laughs> All right, I will read out of the book. I want to look again. Oh, being bound. Feeling trapped, though. Hmm. Hmm. There's like definitely there ends up being a there's a connection, right? And there's there I mean there's definitely water energy with this too, right? Um Pisces Cancer Scorpionic. Um there's possibly Aquarius Taurus Leo too. Alright. Okay, let's get one more for those who are guided to this. I feel like to get three for some reason. Maybe just two. We'll see. What else? Okay. Breaking free from feeling bound. 32 of five, creating change even. So for some of you, maybe there's grandmother energy or mother, um, Pisces, Gemini, Taurus, Pi yeah. um, Leo. Um, also even from children or romance or, you know, fifth house stuff innocence though i mean there's a breaking free that was so interesting someone was feeling bound and then breaking free weird and this rites of passage so this was coming through even with the animals so you're very tied in with the animal it looks like too this is the cat right and then the eyes 33 so there could be a Gemini, Libra energy, um, maybe Virgo, Pisces. Um, and I'm seeing the weasel because <laughs> uh, uh, the 33 and paying attention to the signs. And then you've got the cat here. looks like maybe a snow leopard or something. I don't know. Yawning. This is a right of pa Wow. Look at right in flow. Maybe there was something about when you were younger, 17, maybe you're, you know, and that, that is also have some of this like fifth house energy because we got five, six too. So there's also maybe some Taurus, um, eight, five, maybe some Leo Virgo. Let's see. Yeah. And this rites of passage. Wow. So I feel like the animals would also have something for you. Oh, wow. Even from the afterlife. Connecting with animals that have passed. 620 and 619. And then being able to let go. Wow. Clearing your space. 
Okay. That's fascinating. Maybe they used to go for rides in the car with you or something. Okay, I'm going to read these now out of the book. What are we at on time? 5505. Here we go. Compassion. I find as I open it up, there's inspiration. Okay, 520, 521. Allow the queen and keys of keys and her powerful energy to guide you towards new ideas and creative inspirations that will enrich your life and the lives of others. It is through your creative expression that you can truly change the world. Write down five ways you love to express your creativity and think of the times your creative endeavors have delighted others. Choose one item on the list and work towards making this happen. A lot about the keys. Wow. So there's definitely Taurus and Gemini, maybe Leo, this new creative stuff even. So, and the five. So especially if it's about breaking free, there's something, the keys, maybe like you can move that and change that into three different things, break it apart and put it back together in a different way. It may, like, that's a weird little car. I'm all, that's a weird little car. Okay. We're going to go to the 17. That is the compassion 44 oh my goodness okay so if any of you are libras uh and, or let's see the 44 was kind of spelled i since libra so libra scorpio um sagittarius yeah um also aries cancer scorpio yeah maybe leo as well <laughs> Um, this card represents expressing compassion for yourself and others. Swans symbolize pure love and divine balance. If you are compassionate with yourself, it will flow on to how you treat everyone else. Perhaps you have been pushing yourself lately or been unkind to yourself by rushing things, feeling stressed, taking too much on, or trying to follow strict regimes or ideals. Relax and show yourself some latitude. If you judge harshly, this judgment is passed on to others and this form of energy just becomes everyone, makes everyone feel bad. Become quiet and turn inward, concentrating on your heart center. Your heart will let you know what is good for you and seek out experiences that are rewarding and full of light. When you honor yourself, being compassionate becomes so much easier. You see the struggles in others and can feel what they're going through. You're able to lighten their load by sending them good thoughts rather than judgmental ones. Focus on shining your light in this world and becoming a beacon of hope to others. This is not the worldly trappings of fame, money, or status, but is true success. When you come from a heart-centered approach, your endeavors will go more prosperous than if you just focus on ego-based outcomes. So meditate. So 8, 9 even, and 4, 4, 45. Meditate on the image of the two swans and fill your heart center open and become filled with light, compassion, and loving consideration for others. This will help you to comprehend everyone's story and realize they are doing the best they can. Breaking free, even. So there's a, yeah, 32, then 33. Eight, six, eight, seven. But that, I mean... I love it. It's going right in flow once there's this breaking free. Mm. Maybe even going on a ride or something. You know what I mean? Or, I don't know. Breaking free. <laughs> 32. I, I, I flipped it to 23. So the eternal self. 5657. Five, this is about third eye as well. The eternal self. Wow. So Aquarius. <laughs> Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Virgo, breaking free. Now I'm going to go to the 32. That was eternal self. There's connection there. The, the connects even. That's 31. 31, 32, divination and action. 7, 4, 7, 5, 11, 12. So I saw 11, 10, 11, 12. Huh? We skipped the 11, 11, huh? 32, the five, changing. The power of the mind is an incredible thing. Many scientific studies have explored the placebo effect, whereby ill people have, are given an innocuous sugar pill and told it's effective medicine. As much as 70% of patients reported improvements in systems because they believed the drug would help them. Amazing phenomenon. 
Hmm. Using the essence of this idea, the breaking free cards ask you to believe in an optimistic outcome. Release yourself from the negative thoughts which are depicted in the artwork. Hmm. Long, skelly serpent that tries to invade your mind with toxicity and pessimism. The hand of the goddess is soothing and extracting native thoughts as she whispers an ancient language to help you shine your light into the world. When you draw this card, it means you have been living in your head too much, overthinking and catast catastrophizing a universal truth that your beliefs create your reality. Once you understand this, you need to make a concerted effort to free yourself from harmful thought patterns. If your thoughts are dark and you're always entertaining the worst case scenarios, you're putting that energy out there and strengthening that possibility. Actively choose. Sorry, I was like, there's something on my finger. It looks all red, which is weird. I'm like, where'd that come from? Interesting. Actively choose positive self-talk as it is a powerful, effective practitioner. Your mind can be trained just like a muscle. So if you find yourself taking a deep dive into worst case scenario, stop and focus instead on what you want to happen, the best possible outcome. And notice how this lifts your mood. The 12, seven, five. Hmm. Very, very fascinating. And then we've got the rites of passage, seven, six, seven, seven. Wow. 33. The Rites of Passage card indicates that a major change or milestone is about to take place. It is a powerful card that marks an important, possibly life-changing event. There is a sense of renewal surrounding your energy with this card heralding the beginning of a fresh phase in your life. This card also indicates a transition in your career and a clearing out of your old life to make way for the new. The woman in the image is reconnecting with her wild nature, which is represented by the tiger. The wise eyes of her higher self look out into the world. She's ready. When you were young, you were probably taught to tame the wildness within, to play small, play it safe, and stop making people feel uncomfortable with your strong emotions. You would have been encouraged to modify and adapt who you were to fit into society. However, to truly embrace yourself just as you are in this rite of passage and doing so can be a catalyst for great change. All rites of passage come with an expansion of energy that can initially feel painful or scary. Nevertheless, you are constantly evolving and your life is a journey of transformations. It is necessary to change and grow so you can become the best version of yourself and take your rightful place in society as a fully functioning adult and accept yourself and others just as you and they are. This card has chosen you today. Take the first step in the process of transforming your life. What rite of passage can you honor with a ritual? It can be as simple as lighting a candle and acknowledging a major milestone you have completed. Pay attention to the repetitive dreams or visions for they will show you the way to your divine path. Wow. And trust. Remember trust was there as well. The instincts of the animals, 34. The fish at the woman's shoulder should connect her with the elements of water together with the emotions and deeper awareness that come from your higher self, 7, 9, 7, 8. Sit quietly and connect to your higher self, asking to be given a feeling or shown a symbol that represents the person you are questioning. Trust that you will know within your heart what the right thing to do is, right? The leopard quietly watches, assessing the situation. Hmm. A person who once hurt you is about to re-enter your life. In the past, you let this person into your heart's sacred garden and they trampled on it, leaving scars. Can you trust them again? Hmm. Can you accept this person as they are, knowing their core behaviors will never change? Hmm. So I also saw like, uh, <laughs> the picture. So maybe there's Libra energy. Um, Taurus, Aries, there's something, right? With all of this, Scorpio, Cancer sign, Leo, Pisces, Gemini, Cancer sign. Um, wow, and taking back your power was right there too. So I'm gonna continue this. 80 and 81, the symbol of the water lily. 
as encouragement to speak your truth and acknowledge how you, you really feel. When you speak up, you honor your soul. If you don't speak up, you stay underwater, cannot shine in your true light. Oh my gosh. I don't want to do the name game again. <laughs> oh. The roots. The water lily is an ancient symbol that signifies hope, rebirth, and purification. It represents your earthbound human self reaching for the light. On this card, the lily roots are buried deep in the mud. Okay, there's a song by, uh, I think it's Highly Suspect, Lydia. And there's also like, mm, what's the other song by Highly Suspect? Uh, uh, my name is human but this talks about like there's a video so i also saw the red hair like again and like the cool like the old soul black panther and it's not a mystery <laughs> my cat doesn't like you <laughs> it's not a mystery because my cat doesn't like you. something i don't hmm but she was like trapped underwater and the video and trying to break free the rusty breaking free okay there's a song also by um it's blue stones uh the blue stones and it's called shaken off the rust there's also sound garden and uh rusty cage there was something okay guys i'm gonna bring this up because this could also be about breaking free of addiction things. This might have been somebody that you actually, maybe in a younger times or did, you used to, uh, there could have been drugs. <laughs> so third eye blind. When your third eye is blind as well. Um. So the band, there's a song and if you're not paying attention to what the song is and the lyrics, it's, it's, it's absolutely, it's kind of insane because literally the top ta is talking about, um, drugs. Okay. Crystal. Cocaine. Meth. Things like that. Okay. Um, Wow. Anyways, that's just uh <laughs> I know it got all got all calm. The rites of passage. So trusting. Taking your power back and having a life review. Okay, I don't know why I decided to bring that one up with that. Um but it's something to do with something like that. Maybe even helping others overcome those things. Or that might be the warning of who might be coming back into your life. Um, but anyways. Alright, that's all I've got for you guys all right here with this. I wasn't anticipating it to be that way. I just... But we started with the swan and compassion. Understanding that. And we're human, right? So... We live in a world full of different things like that. I'm like, ooh, that's so pretty. Okay, what do we got in time? 108.44. 108.44. And we are going to the deck number four. Pile number four and the roses. Pile number four and the roses. 108. 109. Pile number four. Okay, so you also got game time. So playing ball. It's like toss it and catch it these little balls i'm all these little balls look at these little balls <laughs> scorpio um <laughs> game time with the roses <clears throat> maybe specifically so sherilyn darcy i'm just gonna pull a few of these and i will read out of this because i have no other tarot to go with this particular pile let's look under there the rescuer wow 41 miss edith Rose, Cavell, Modern Garden. So this is creating change even. This could have something to do with mothering. There could be Cancer, Aries, uh, 
Leo, the rescuer, Scorpio, the flirt. Oh my gosh. Scorpio, the flirt, the sweet briar rose. <laughs> Maybe there's Taurus and Scorpio too, and then Gemini, Libra, but the flirt, Sweet Briar Rose, Miss Edith. Oh, well, let's play a game. There's like, you know, the flirtatious. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, goodness. The scientist, 11. So you're getting the scientist paying attention to little details, the memorial. So, songs kind of coming through, Coldplay and The Scientist, I like that. It makes me think of Sagittarius, Capricorns, Aquarius, Virgo, maybe Libra, Tauruses, okay? Wow, and then The Sensualist, La France Rose. Wow, Gemini, Leo, Scorpio, The Citizen. So we're going, it's like jumping two. So I see 11, 8, 11, 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 10, 3, 5, 3, 7, 1, 1. Maybe even some Capricorn with the 1, 1. Okay, I'm just throwing them out there. Okay, let's just get a few and then I will read it out of the book for those who were drawn to this pile number four uh, with the Oracle of the Roses. And the playing a game with the little balls. Okay, we got the architect, 11, 5, and the rescuer, 5, 5. So 2, 11, oh, no, no. 2, 5, 5, 5. Wow. So I'm going to read those, creating it. And then the rebel, the 7. <laughs> 5, 7. I'm going to put the rebel right there. Okay, here we go. Sherilyn Darcy's Oracle of the Roses. As I open it up, I open it up to the Prairie Rose and the Pioneer. So we've been trusting Virginia Rose, Queen Elizabeth, the Virginia. Aries, the Pioneer. Um, also, Gemini, 4243. Four, Taurus, 4567. Six, seven, one, three, Capricorn. Usually I think of Aquarius with this. So I'm going to go back to 11 with the scientists. We're starting with the wild rose. This is page 38 and 39. This is the Capricorn. Okay, interesting. Analysis, creation, ideas, exper experimentation, discovery, and analysis. Maybe this is something about communication. Even there's something with the Gemini energy and the Scorpio energy, the Pisces, like dreaming it up even. Um, and then even long distance, like so some Sagittarius even, um, different cultures. So deities is the Muses, Hermes, Apollo. Okay, what can you experiment with to make things better in your life? The memorial rose is native to eastern China, Korea, and Japan, and named after a German botanist, Max Ernst Wickeru, from 1817 to 1866, who, collecting the species while attached to the Prussian diplomatic mission in the Far East. He was also a lawyer and appointed to 1859 as a government counselor, Memorial Rose is a shrub with a trailing habit that makes it an excellent ground cover. Hmm. This rose does prefer full sun but can tolerate light shade as well. Flowers midsummer to early autumn. Don't fear the unknown, but also avoid overanalyzing, right? Anything can help you find a solution if you're willing to let go of what you feel and even think and just stop, listen, and look. All right, try a new way, gather additional information, experiment, and while you may not find the complete answer, exploration can often set you in the right direction. That's always better than stagnation or worse, falling backwards. The scientists will work out the questions first before setting up the experiment using true tests and carefully analyzing the outcomes. Then we've got the architect, which is number five. 
on page 26 and 27 and we've got virgo if that also apollo again so the deity apollo interesting this is my cat's name but that's also considered right the the uh the sun god precision logic solutions investigations self-reliance while problems or even seemingly impossible challenges so let me see uh, possibly there's also aquarius taurus virgo yeah libra nine eight nine leo yeah change in this be careful not to simplify jump onto a new direction just because you desire the outcome because the foundation will not be sound are you ready to dedicate yourself to the making and development required the architect reminds us to be the maker of our own destiny but to plan carefully and deeply before we set forward on construction could I learn or reapply additional skills to create a better future? Woods Rose is native to much of Western North America. And although it has been noted that it was named after American botanist Alfonso Wood in 1810 to 1881, the United States Department of Agriculture has claimed it was named in honor of English architect, geologist, and botanist Joseph Woods in 1776 who passed in 1864. The rose is drought tolerant and can also grow between three and six feet in height. Although this rose will tolerate part shade, it prefers full sun. Sandy or loam soil is required and must be free draining and kept moist. Wow. Okay, fascinating. Then we've got the rescuer. That was 41, but the rebel was underneath, right? Underneath there, I see 720, even the gardener, the rebel, the gardener, and the storyteller. <laughs> but, so I might go to the rebel first just because it's next. Austrian Briar Rose, 30 and 31. So I saw 31 twice with that, 730, 731, 31. Yeah, no way. Oh my gosh. So very, so maybe even sometimes, like I said, I might timestamp and put these different numbers in and see what it has to say, bringing you back to maybe one of those different piles. But as you see, 730, 731 Aquarius. So that's also the opposite because that's, I see Leo and Aquarius with that. And 1031 Scorpio. Um... Seven three seven four four um cancer sign all right things cannot always keep going the way they have in the past while on the outside you tried your tried and true path may still prove to work there is a price to be paid in stagnation and resting on one's laurels the safe way is not always the best way but the adventurous direction should still be considered with great care the rebel knows that breaking completely away from what is considered the average, the, unex the expected and the normal does not mean leaving your values behind. So what could you do today, this week or month that is unexpected? I love how it's the Aquarius, like it's that Uranus of expect the unexpected, you know, doing something out of your norm. Prometheus, oh, the fire energy. Meanings and uses for this flower are the challenge, expression, justice. So Libra too, equality and creativity. This rose is native to the country of Georgia. Its botanical species name is Fotida, meaning having a bad smell, which is why some people dislike this plant. Its fragrance is not unlike boiled linsen oil. This was one of the first yellow roses. So it's the yellow rose. Weird. So interesting. I'm <laughs> all well, so interesting. Okay. The 16th century as well. Okay. It caused a lot of interest. It needs full sun and yet is extremely winter hardy. This rose usually lives around 20 years and grows between 5 to 10 feet in height. 5, 10, 20 years. Soil needs to be well-draining and kept slightly moist. Flowers in midsummer. <laughs> wow.
<clears throat> that is very interesting. All right, I'm I'm definitely losing my voice as I'm doing this. So doing all five of these in one video is quite interesting. Uh, wow, Lois or Lewis, I changed it to 22 and there's the heart there. Leo, oh my gosh. Okay, and then there might be Gemini or Virgo, Aries, Libra, Aphrodite, Venus. Oh, forgiveness and acceptance. Luis or Lois, Audier, Jackie, Jacket, Julian, Margotten, Eugene. Interesting. A great lover of flowers. Six and 61. Wow, so you didn't pull that one, but I love, you know, sharing it as I flip through there. Okay, and I just thought, well, we just talked about that with the Leo. And you see, as I was saying, when I looked under there, I saw 720 as well, right? So that's that cancer energy, maybe. And then there's the 31, and then I believe there was 30 underneath. Oh, there's the lo the loners, the 14, 14. Oh, the jester. Okay, I saw 731, maybe. The loners, the 14, and the jester. So 14 and 41. The rescuer. Hmm. Okay, 41. We're going to go to 41. Oh, wow. The storyteller was right there, too. And as I flipped it, uh, it's showing the 31, 31, even Pisces energy. Leo again. Oh, my gosh. The storyteller. 77, or excuse me, 78, 79. Athena. There could be the Cancer sign. Sagittarius, Libra, Scorpionic with this, too. Maybe even Pisces. The 31st, you got to beware of fact, fiction, and myth and accounts as the myths are folding in the moment to blur the lines. Someone may be more than a little deceptive in their actions. Oh, interesting. Ber eh, France, Morocco, Sultan of Morocco. What story are you living or telling yourself and how does it make you feel? This is excitement, drama, dreams, embellishments, myths. A gardener from Angers in France. Interesting. 1858. 1822 to 1859. Okay. The advocate is also the Louis. Louise Benoit. Aries. And Leo, 8-1, Charles, Belgium. Okay, I'm going to the rescuer. Here we go. 98 and 99, Aries. Okay, the rescuer is this Aries energy. I told you. <laughs> I told you. Maybe there's Virgo there too. Uh, there's also, they could be Leo, Aries, um, Cancer sign, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Virgo. Self-help, solutions, dependability, honor, and healing. What are you two dependent on and how can you forge independence? Often we begin with the best intentions when diving in to provide our assistance in the form of a rescue. No matter how small it may be, but could a solution unfold naturally if just given the time? Focus on the lessons learned in previous challenges to help you find the solutions you are seeking today. The rescuer has a calling to service and is always selfless in their actions. They're brave, dependable, and most of all, honorable, and they are able to set aside any inflated sense of self-worth that those who do not understand the calling sadly suffer. Garrett, Jarrett, Edith. So this rose was discovered by Jarrett D. Rudier, 1892 to 1930, who was known for his part in developing new rose colors in the Netherlands in 1917. Edith Louisa Cavell, for who this rose was named, was a British nurse, revered for dedication to saving the lives of soldiers from both sides, from both sides, and for helping around 200 Allied soldiers escape from German-occupied Belgium during the First World War. This grows to approximately two feet and requires full sun, tolerates all soil types, and only needs moderate watering. Flowers from early summer to end of autumn. And I find that fascinating. So that is the last one, right? 
Oh, we have one more thank you pile four with the roses. I hope you have enjoyed. That was really fascinating. Hope that's giving you some insight, you know, information, whatever. Fun little, uh, you know, symbols helping you on your journey here. And I am moving on now to the final pile of pile number five. We are at 125 on the clock. Pile number five. If you're going shopping, I didn't put together your shopping cart, but you know, I'm going to give these to my kids when I'm done with this anyways. You're it was about you're like carrying the basket, right? To put all the goodies in the toys. So we have a Lumitero and the Sacred Spirit reading cards by Anna Stark. Um I'm just going to set it over to the side cuz it's not put together yet. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to look underneath the deck. Actually, I like kind of splitting it first. Let's see. Wow, Queen of Cups. Okay, so we have this loving, compassionate, understanding, feminine, whether there's water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Wow, the moon. Very interesting that I split it there again. So this is a Piscean card with this moon. can also be um, that Cancer energy. So that you're dealing with them or you have this in your, your chart. You're coming off this way. Very loving. Oh, look, even the child, very, very nurturing, very mothering, very understanding. Even there's children that are helping you and they're, they love you. They love you. Light codes, travel awaits you. 24, the sixes. So some of you, maybe they're Virgo, Gemini, Taurus, Cancer, or, um, yeah, Aquarius. Wow, Denise Lynn, a <laughs> sacred traveler. Okay, that's the guidebook that I will. Oh, this was not even the same one, guys. Maybe I'll get you a message out of this. this or maybe the other message is to listen to the purple one. Okay, uh, I can't remember. Oh, with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the fairies there, open your heart to joy. Um, the Leo the leo, uh, leo turtle so that that one maybe there's a message there the light codes travel await you okay yeah you're supposed to listen to the sacred traveler <laughs> okay Woo. all right this is going to be quick guys because this is a long one it took much longer it got a lot more in depth and doing this for like staying in one place sitting here doing this and talking for this long is definitely I need a break. So I'm going to be honest with that. It's time for a little break. I'm going to give it a good shuffle. I thoroughly enjoy doing this. So it's really fun. I hope you've enjoyed as well. And thank you all so much. Let's see what do we have for those who are drawn to the final pile. Pile number five. And if you, for some crazy reason, listened all the way through, you're the bomb. And thank you. Uh, whatever. Okay, here we go. As Denise Lynn and that sacred traveler. I might just open it up. Wow. A guardian. They're a guardian. Guard your energy, though, guardian. So this is also the wolf. So this is also about protection, too, and reflection. The 19? 19 came out in the last one, too. They could be scorpionic. They could have already passed. They could have already had an ending, okay? They could be um, Sagittarius, Aries, Capricorn, okay? This reflection with the wolf is really interesting. It is about protecting yourself and sometimes even needing to take a step back. Look at the moon sign. Look, there is totally this divine. The moon's like on fire. Look at that. Like the red moons. Because you got the, this is the goddess energy with this. Light codes. Guarding your energy. Maybe even this cart, you know, like holding it lead the way wow 23 light your own path two three wow aquarius okay sagittarius coming through and aquarius a lot leo gemini taurus a lot of sagittarius and underneath there is 22 so even going back a little bit igniting your passion for life in a kundalini rising wow and then 33 no way soul fragments though balance will be restored wow okay okay leading the way these are fascinating i am gonna read out of the book with these 
Lighting Your Own Path. Look, this matches the book, even the Anna Stark. And Luis, so weirdest thing, Louis Dyer. Oh, is Wayne Dyer someone, someone as well too? But um, in the Roses one, I, I kept seeing like Louis or Louisa, Lois, Louisa, you know, all right? So look, Ignite Your Passion. I'm also look. <laughs> I just want to show you these. It's really great. This balance will be restored, okay? So I'm Libra and I'm paying attention to this. So paying attention to the signs. I'm seeing the 33, okay? 19. Maybe you were even 19. I, I'm, there's young energy with this even, um, you know, lighting your own path. There's creativity. Dark night of the soul is underneath there. 11. 11.23. Wow. Sagittarius. Um, so there could be some Gemini energy. Double Gemini. Cousins, siblings, neighbors, people from your community. There's Libra energy possibly. And yeah. With this. Um, the, the weasel spirit is about going in and getting something you need. The fragments without even knowing like without even others knowing you know what i mean without causing any ripple without being seen sacred divinity 333 there are two paths ahead two different paths that you can go down so guard your energy sacred divinity there are two paths you have options lead the way it's your choice so, and then the final one I'm going to put is Mindful Wisdom, Creating Inner Harmony, 28. These are quite a bit. Align your universe, okay? So underneath here, underneath this leading the way, there seems to be quite a bit, okay? <clears throat> With this, okay? Sorry, I'm going to open this. Go in the flow. Everything is in flow, 6-9. <laughs> the sacred traveler wants you to know it's not always easy to let go of the shore. However, this card says, and everything is smooth sailing. So maybe it's even the sacred traveler video from the first pick a, pick a toy. Um, the fidget spinner. Oh my gosh, that one was pile number three. I remember already. Like it was insane um, seeing the synchronicities as I just trusted when I was... I re-listen, you understand, and then I time stuff in the comments and different things. However, I see the time, I, you know, I pay attention to the signs. Um, so, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius in Cancer signs, and Libra, okay? Wow, in Journey by Moonlight, Believe in Magic, this one is being reiterated from that. So, I'm not going to... Um, I'm just going to tell you to listen to that one. It's somehow interconnected with more of understanding um, with these two. Okay. The Guardian. I'm going to look under there. Wow. Will of Fortune. But it's in reverse. So someone is feeling like maybe they're in a bad karmic cycle. Or they're on a down cycle. Or it's not the right timing regarding their home. There could have felt like there was a loss regarding a home. Well, we have four and nine of coins. Someone is very, so as, as I look through regarding a home, like, I don't understand why that would be there. This is your home. This is having a lot of financial stability, security, luxury, homes, property. Maybe even very, being very, like, there's an abundance. There's extra. Wow. So guard your energy even. From someone else who possibly is in a down cycle. There's some Leo energy that's trying to have strength. Feeling like it in a down cycle. With a boss. Um, oh. <laughs> or they're supposed to be the boss. The Emperor's in reverse and the Queen of Swords in reverse with that too. Huh. Hum. Hum, hum, hum. Someone's being very upset, and maybe that's the whole thing. Like, what they're putting out is bringing back negativity towards them. Or you, or whoever, right? Okay? Child of Cups. So, remember, that was there. Underneath there was beautiful. Someone's looking at their options. There is some illusions. There's this Piscean energy, wanting to be victorious. 
I'm going to give it good shuffle again, though. I like where this is going. So there's two different options, right? Two paths ahead that you can go to. Maybe that was me telling you, like, where to listen from. Okay, let me get the... Oh, it's right here. I'm like, there's the book. I'm going to go to the Guardian. I'm just going to open it too. Light Codes. That was the first one I saw under there. So understand this. There's a Guardian Angel, Nan... Nana, Nanel, N-A-N-A-E-L, Spiritual Communication and Sacred Knowledge. The sacred crystals are Lemurian seed crystals. The shadow aspect of this is being headstrong, even over-imaginative and opinionated. All right, five, six, five, seven. Affirmation, I awaken the dormant light within me. I am radiant. Light codes are language written in creation energy patterns colors sacred geometry the, i'm seeing the purple and the yellow and the purple and the yellow even really right here look at the lights all right working with light codes initiates deep transformation and transmutation breaking old belief patterns paradigms and autocratic systems all right while human beings use speech Sign language and body language, other forms of communication are visible across different species. Animals and plants use their own language through sound and sense. Light codes are the human being's cosmic fingerprints. Connecting to a higher state of consciousness can access the realm of light language. Discovering new symbols. Wow. Incorporating tones and gestures. Right now you're on a mission. Humanitarian efforts become earth conscious and choosing how you contribute to humanity and the planet is in focus now. A change in your dietary habits, incorpor incorporating a more meat-free approach to your body will leave you feeling lighter and proactive about your physical contribution. Like Leonardo da Vinci, weird. See, I brought up the, to the turtle too, right? So, now I, I like that saying, you know, um, a meat-free approach so it doesn't say you have to go completely vegan or vegetarian because i want to also say that i i i truly believe you you know needing the iron and but if you that's my personal opinion on my diet so you know what i mean but maybe um making sure that it is balanced and you're not just hmm. all right if you are a light language channel be sure to ground yourself accordingly after each transmission like Leonardo da Vinci, revolutionizing outdated processes, innovative ideas, and creative pursuits are an interest now. Okay. This is a lot of information, guys. Oh my gosh, what time is it? 137.37. There's your first light code. <laughs> you got 4910. 4910. Look at these, though. The different. I see these even as like the light codes. Guardian protecting your energy. Let's go to 19. The hidden realms is next. 4, 6, and 4, 7. The animal spirit totems. Guardians of the spiritual realm are perceived differently across all cultures and religions. Totem spirits, angels, and other shamanic spirit helpers are assigned to everyone at birth and can be discovered through vision quests, meditation, and deep forms of prayer. All right. Affirmations, I am clearly guided by my divine guardian. I am protected always. Be cautious of the full moon's influence over people and places. Always put your personal safety first to avoid taking unnecessary risks. Right? Paying attention to, yeah, the lunar cycles. The full moon. So for any of you that might be Leos or Aries, I mean, the full moon is in Leo. Um, oh, well, this is going to be a timeless message, so... Just pay any attention to that. So I'm not, I'm not actually gonna put that in here. But the shadow aspect of this is about abuse of power, codependency, irresponsible carelessness. Archangel Siltiel, Siltiel. Guardian spirits are often perceived in animal forms due to the recognition of their personal characteristics and mannerisms. The wolf depicts challenges in personal boundaries and being able to trust others with your emotional vulnerability. Different stages of life can bring change to those helpers, right? 
depending on what lesson or guidance are needed to complete levels of growth for the soul's ascension. Wow. Wow, so the animal, like, wow. I'm paying attention to the animal. There's a duck or something. You got the owl, the wolf. So a lot of animals came through for this one as well. Very interesting. All right. I know this is, I'm like, this is a lot of information. I don't know that I'm going to read all of these cards in particular for you, okay? The cart <laughs> to put all your toys in. This is a lot to carry. You see, this is a lot to carry. All right. So, igniting your passion, lighting your own path, even being this leader, right? The light. Look at all the light codes. I think this is a beautiful deck. They they work together very well, as well as does the spirit animals. The medicine cards. So if you all haven't watched any of the medicine cards ones and you're drawn into the spirit animals, there are a lot of amazing messages. Whatever your sign, your, your moon sign, your sun sign, rising sign, maybe there's something there with that spirit animal. You can always receive, you know, um, guidance, even if it's, you know, Sometimes I've watched videos that was not even my sign and and I'm like, oh, there's still something there a little bit. Like maybe even calling it like maybe a cross watching. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, but I want to just say that I'm not going, I already know I'm not going to read all of these because it's gotten so long here with this. Um, but look forward to me incorporating this this uh, this book as well the sacred spirit reading cards um in some upcoming videos so uh look forward to that okay mindful wisdom and soul fragmentation balance will be restored the guardian love and light sacred divinity as well there are two paths ahead six nine I'm saying a lot of the six nine for you which is to me is not i also think of the give and take um, it could be Virgo, Sagittarius, Gemini's, um, Cancer sign. Those are uh, receiving and then giving, receiving and giving. Like I, it's like even the yin yang that I see, you know, the, uh, yeah, the yin yang. Mindfulness. Like I even see it. Look how interesting with the the owl there. Soul fragments is where we're going to at this point. 7475. The bulgy stones. This is the shadow aspect of fear, shallowness, and detachment. Angel assistance is guardian angel rampel. Clearing karmic debris, recalling lost soul fragments. Fear based experience need to be addressed now. Past life regressions could be beneficial to create understanding of phobias deep-seated fears or subconscious patterns that have previously controlled areas of your life. Wow. Wow. I'm all, wow. <laughs> so, um, maybe in trust where you're drawn, if you are want to do something like that, um, I, I, at one time, <laughs> I'm all, I, at one time, I'm not, I don't, I'm not, so the ayahuasca, I know this is popping in my head, but no, this is not, for me personally, I'm not into that type of stuff, and if that's what others want to do, that's fine, that's their life, um, their journey, but, um, the quantum healing, hypnosis therapy, QHHT, um, you don't even have to do stuff like that, but going to guidance, like, I don't know why, but for some reason, you know, Arizona and Sedona is always that, that place. But maybe there's a place by you where there is, like, someone who who does um, past life regressions or certain things like that. Um, you know what I mean? That you, If you feel guided to it, you're, they'll find you. You'll find them. Things like that. Mm. So, very interesting. Very interesting. And the protection. Wow. Okay, that is all I'm going to do for this video just because that got so long. Thank you all. Um, sorry, you pile number five. I just don't want to read all these cards. Um, this has gotten too long. I need to somehow 
cut these down to make them a little shorter. I really like having these little things in here. Look, I'm just like, now I'm thinking about leading the way, you know what I mean? That's what you do. You brainstorm even and you're like, all right, how can I go this way? Or we're going to go this way. And trusting intuition and guidance looks like trusting this inner navigation. And when you're really in tune to, you know, you just, you know, you trust when you trust, you're really in tune and you pay attention to the symbols, the signs, the energy, uh, maybe you can see auras. Maybe you have a visual thing like that. Um, and different stuff like that. Like paying attention. The animals give us clues all the time. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you all so much. Bye-bye.